ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is James Spann. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video for Wednesday, the 1st of April. All the parameters are coming together for the potential for a significant severe weather outbreak across the Deep South tomorrow. And that's the key of what we'll be talking about today. Let's take a look at the Skycam shots. What a great day today. Birmingham sunshine. Readings sitting around 70, maybe low 70s in spots. We'll check the numbers here in just a moment. Demopolis, man, that Tom Bigby has been running high all year long with all of this rain and uh, still remains very high. And more heavy rain coming. Gadsden, that's the uh, view there from Lookout Mountain. Looking back off to the east, off in the distance, you can see the Coosa River. And down below... U.S. Highway 411, sky there partly sunny. Yeah, pretty decent day out there today. All of the active weather well to the west and to the south. We're in between waves, and it does feel good. Look at that, low 70s up there. Birmingham at 72, Anniston 73, Tuscaloosa 71. But everybody's focusing on severe weather, so let's take a look. This is the uh, risk for the rest of this afternoon and tonight. Got a slight risk from... Uh, eastern Texas up into the Arklatex region and parts of southeast Oklahoma and also over parts of Florida where there is a severe thunderstorm watch until 8 o'clock central, 9 o'clock eastern tonight. That includes Orlando and Gainesville, Daytona Beach, all points in between. You can see those uh, clusters of storms forming in that box. But here we go tomorrow, a moderate risk of severe weather for Almost all of Alabama and Mississippi, parts of western Georgia. Probabilities are sky high, 45%. That's about as high as they come. That's the chance of any severe weather within 25 miles of a given point. And SPC does mention the possibility of damaging long-track tornadoes in there. How will it all play out? It's going to depend on the mesoscale. We'll take a look here in a moment. And don't forget Sunday, another severe weather risk across the deep south. That's day five. And... Of course, we'll focus that once we get tomorrow's system out of here. And the rain keeps on coming, 8.1 inches, the bullseye on this QPF chart. This is valid through Monday morning of next week. The amounts up this way suggesting 1 to 2 inches, and no doubt some spots could see more than that. This counts the event tomorrow and the event on Sunday. Here's the GFS at noon tomorrow. Very intense digging shortwave trough going negative tilt just off to the west. Very difluent flow in advance of that. Down below that at noon tomorrow, the surface low is located north of Texarkana. And understand, uh, we might see a few severe storms beginning to break out by midday. They would be the discrete type. And the other thing to watch, you see that big mass of rain over the Florida Panhandle and South Georgia? Will that block the good inflow like the deal this past Saturday? We'll keep an eye on that. That's a possibility, but uh, if that feature is not in play... Look out, 6 o'clock tomorrow evening. Again, the core of that MCS is really near Tallahassee in, in Tifton, Georgia. So I just don't think it's going to be a big interference problem. The surface low is north of Memphis, deepening. And again, at that point, we'll have to be looking out for the possibility of supercell storms that are rotating. We'll go to uh, midnight tomorrow night, surface low near Paducah, Kentucky. And at that point, a squall line will probably be racing through the state, potential for damaging straight-line winds. Look at some severe weather parameters. This is the lifted index. We talked about this on Weather Brains this week, if you haven't listened to the show. Now, uh, J.B. Elliott and Dr. Tim, they love the lifted index. It's an older product, but it's still good. And uh, this shows uh, lifted indices is really colder than minus 6, around Tupelo, and that'll be advecting in here uh, tomorrow evening. Very unstable air. How about the STP, the significant tornado parameter? Numbers are very high. Uh, tomorrow evening, uh, with a bullseye really over the Tennessee Valley, extending down into uh, central Alabama. Craven Brooks, significant severe weather index. Again, very high values right through uh, all of Alabama. And finally, the uh, EHI, Energy Helicity Index, those values are peaking really from Birmingham down to Montgomery. So just every everything's there to suggest it could be a pretty rough day, maybe a really rough day tomorrow and tomorrow night. But it remains to be seen if convection on the Gulf Coast will block the inflow again. Uh, we'll watch it unfold, but as a course of least regret, everybody needs to plan on a significant outbreak of severe thunderstorms and possible tornadoes. 
Friday, it's all gone. By the way, timing, we think noon to midnight, still the main window, but the real core of the action, probably 3 until 9 p.m. Friday will be clearing and uh, cooler. Saturday, a beautiful day to start the weekend. Sunny with a high well up in the 70s. And Sunday, yep, another shortwave trough, another severe weather threat. This time, the surface low is uh, just east of St. Louis. And uh, again, we'll be watching out for the possibility of strong to severe storms on Sunday. We'll really get into that after tomorrow's event. And then Monday, hey, hey, now look at here. We got some phasing going on in a very deep trough forming over the east. Growers, pay attention. 540 line down to Montgomery. This would suggest a day with temperatures only in the 40s north of Birmingham. We wouldn't see 50 if this is right. And then Tuesday, the very cold air stays in place, and that's going to set the stage for at least some potential of a light freeze Tuesday morning of next week. That's April 7th. That's why we've been saying don't plant anything yet. That idea is on the table now. And then Wednesday of next week, we warm up. Here comes the next storm uh, coming out of the Rockies. And on the 9th, Thursday, shortwave rotating through here and another severe weather potential set up there. But this is, of course, way out there. The timing could change and the specifics will change, but it's there. And at the end of the forecast on the 17th, whopper of a trough way out west, one trough rotating through the northeast. This look, we're in between, but you see the very active weather pattern continues. And again, the theme, I think, is that we're not going to have any dull moments in the weather office around here anytime soon. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And if you're local, we invite you to watch us on television this evening. ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and God bless.